I heard a story about a little boy named Shay. Shay was 10 years old and both physically and mentally challenged. He and his father were out walking one day and they went by a baseball field where a bunch of young boys Shay's age were playing a game. Shay loved baseball. He said to his dad, do you think they would let me play on one of their teams? Shay's dad knew that he couldn't play at that level. He was very uncoordinated and couldn't hardly run at all. And Shay's dad didn't want to disappoint him, so he went over and he asked one of the young boys in the dugout if Shay could play. And the little boy looked around at his friends trying to get some advice. And finally, he said, well, sir, there's only two innings left and we're down by three runs, but sure, he can come play. We'll put him in the outfield. Shay was so excited. He could not believe he was out there playing baseball with those other young men. In the last inning, their team was down by one run. There were two outs, and it was Shay's time to bat. Deep down, those other teammates wanted to put in a pinch hitter. They wanted to send their best batter up, but they knew that wouldn't be right. So they sent Shay up to the plate, basically knowing that they had already lost the game. I mean, Shay didn't have a chance. He was facing their star pitcher. This pitcher wound back and fired the first pitch so fast, Shay didn't even have a chance. He swung so late and so uncoordinated, he missed it by a mile. At that point, the pitcher realized that Shay had some physical challenges. The next pitch, he threw about half the speed. But once again, Shay swung and missed by a mile. This time, the pitcher stepped off the mound and walked much closer to home plate. He threw the ball as soft as he could and believe it or not, Shea hit the ball. It went about five feet right in front of the home plate. The pitcher ran and picked it up just out of instinct. He was about to fire it to first base and win the game. But out of the corner of his eye, he saw Shea running the best that he could. He didn't have the heart to throw it. On purpose, he threw the ball over the first baseman's head into the outfield. The dad stood up and said, run, Shea, run. Kind of like run, Forrest, run. And Shay went to first, headed towards second. By this time, all the other boys knew what was going on. And on purpose, they kept throwing the ball over each other's heads, letting it go through their legs. And Shay rounded third base. And the whole crowd was going, Shay, Shay, Shay. And Shay came in with a game-winning run. Father had these big tears running down his cheeks. But that day, those boys deposited something in Shay that he'll never forget. When he's 70 years old, he'll remember the time he scored the game-winning run. See, sometimes you have to give up winning so somebody else can win. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to let someone else get ahead. Sometimes you have to put your own dreams on hold temporarily so you can help release a dream in somebody else. Here's the key. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you.